going to say it's our last day in China, but it's not. What day is it? Day four? Day four. Day four. And we are up relatively, well, we were up at seven because um, we got an email last night saying that there's a typhoon coming. Typhoon! And uh, the ship needs to leave like two hours earlier. So we had to get up early so that we could phone our transfer to see if we can get that organized earlier, which is okay. We got that. We got that organized for 10, so we've got half an hour before we need to, before we're getting collected by the transfer. Everything's packed. We are ready to go. Susie's just doing her makeup, finishing her makeup. I'm in my pajamas. I'm in my pajamas. Can She's, you see me? No, it cares about me, not you. Ugh. Yeah, everything's packed. We're just getting ready to go. We've had a breakfast of random Chinese snacks that we bought. Uh, random Chinese snacks and a bottle of whatever this is. Someone tell me. Apparently it's alcoholic. Do I get to be in this vlog too? You can. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> I just kicked the suitcase. Ow. Hello. Such a I'm waste here too. There we go. You happy now? Yes. <laughs> We're all in this together or something. So yeah, we got an email late last night saying that, I think it was half past eight at night, just before we were about to go to bed, like old people, <laughs> saying that a typhoon is coming. We did check the weather before we got here and there was no mention of a typhoon, but there was mention of like thunder and lightning storms. So it's been chucking it down today. <laughs> it's super just dark outside. We're going on a cruise. <laughs> I hope we're losers! <laughs> so we made it on the bottle. After like an hour of really heavy driving <sighs> and then getting through like passport control and stuff like that, China was a bit of a nightmare, stressy. Uh, lots of lots of queuing and junk. We're on the boat. Um, while we're on the drive, on the way here, the uh, the taxi driver says he heard over the radio that all the boats had been grounded today. So fingers crossed there's not, like no one from uh, Royal Caribbean told us this is, so I don't know, I don't know. Um, other than that, I mean everything's a bit rushed because of this typhoon. So Susie's just away to see if she can speak to someone to ask them to find out what the hell's going on so that we can ditch this and get something to eat because we're starving, we didn't have any breakfast. Because I was like, oh no, it's fine, like the food on the boat is brilliant! <sighs> but now she's getting hangry and nobody likes a hangry Susie. Okay, so we're finally here. <laughs> I've been stressing out. been on a cruise before so it's definitely um, a bit of a shock with how busy it is I think I'm gonna hide out in the room for a little bit it's incredibly windy I just opened the door and the noise it made was ridiculous I'm trying to stay positive because obviously the weather is so bad like there's a typhoon about to hit Japan so they're trying to like rush everybody on board so that we um, can leave here early so that we can like get ahead of the storm and then we can like Basically have the itinerary that we're supposed to have when we get to Japan, but we've had something to eat It was really nice. I'm like sweating three course breakfast a three course breakfast <laughs> Thank you You're welcome. That's adorable Yeah, he says that you weren't going to get a birthday cake for your birthday. So I got you a birthday cake. Thank you mm. It looks yummy. I suppose we have to eat it today now. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's Jesus. not good. Probably not going to last until no. Saturday. We can have it tonight though. But yeah. Thank you. just done 
on our safety assembly and it was actually like safety the, man it was ding ding dong very good afternoon dear spectrum crew this is a message on from the bridge apologies about that we had a, an announcement so we just had our safety like assembly and things like that the boat has officially taken off and we went outside. <laughs> taken off? We're in playing. the sky, we're in the sky. So we're taken off, we're at a cruise now, 32,000 feet. So we're just waving goodbye to China. And uh, I gotta say, I'm happy about that. We will be coming back for a day to Shanghai. Hello camera, what are you doing? I'm kind of sad just now because it is rough. Like it's really, really rough just now. Um, we're trying to get ahead of this typhoon apparently, that's why we've left so early, but you can definitely feel. Like everyone said to me, oh when you go on a cruise you never feel it. If you are interrupting me again, Mr. Announcement. Even if you don't like getting me in the camera. Hello, I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Hello. I know how I feel when I'm trying to do it. Hi. Come on, Mr. Announcement. I'm trying to vlog here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a thank you cruise writer. Welcome aboard the beautiful spectrum of the seas. Please enjoy your Okay, sorry for the weird cut then. We had a very long massage <laughs> about different activities we can do. So we are leaving Shanghai and we are gonna be getting to Osaka in not tomorrow but the next day. So we'll be there on Thursday, so we're just chilling basically um, we're gonna take you with us show you around the ship a little bit and then I am So excited to go to Osaka like it was funny because we went outside when we left Shanghai and all the Asian people were standing underneath like the roof and we just ran out into the rain just like This is Scotland weather like what the hell like, we don't care it's Better <laughs> than Scottish weather because it's warm It was I mean. warm rain so yeah it was like tropical in a weird way But um, it was just nice to you know see the boat go because They said that the boat might not even leave today And they were going to have to rearrange the trip And we might not get to go to Kobe Which would mean only two days So just to see the boat moving it's like, okay, it may be a little bit rough, but we're on our way to Japan and, you know, I just, I can't believe that we're actually going, you know, it's, it's pretty surreal. So I'm going to just like get some internet hey, and uh, we'll take you guys around the ship this evening. Typical fashion. The room looks like a dump already. It's so gray outside. Bloody typhoons. So Stijo's gone out to do um, some card thing, like needs to do something with the card. And um, I'm trying to get like an hour's sleep because I just feel so exhausted. But listen to this wind. Like it's kind of terrifying. I don't know, it's like, oh. Try being on a boat, like near a typhoon, I'm just, I'm so nervous, honestly, like this is insane. Oh my gosh. So we're sitting in a lovely bar on the boat just now where there's a man playing piano for us live. And uh... Susie's feeling horribly, horribly seasick. The boat is, like, the boat is moving, like, mega moving. It's very good. It's very delightful. Yeah, the boat is like hella moving just now, and she is awfully seasick. I am doing okay, but she's not doing too well. So she's had some seasickness tablets, and she's having some ginger ale just now. So hopefully she'll feel better soon. But she's hello. It's the next day. Well, it wouldn't be the next day. It'll be the first. Hello. Good morning. Evening. Afternoon. It's actually uh, twenty to one. And the we basically hit the edge of the typhoon last night, and it was vile. 
I think everyone on the boat was pretty much thrown up. Uh, yeah, Susie's been feeling very sorry for herself today. Say hello. So that's why you didn't get a, a proper outro at the end of the last episode, at the end of the last day. Because it was it was horrible. It was, it was hor The lightning in this cabin is just awful. Um, yeah, so... I've been up, I had some breakfast, uh, came back and Susie was still in bed, so we got her some room service, she had a hot dog. How was the hot dog? It wasn't very nice, to be honest. wasn't great. I had fries, the fries were okay. But yeah, so we're going to go and try and go on, on deck. Which is a lot better than it is down here, because I was on, I was up on the 14th deck earlier on, it was fine. And then I came down here at the 10th deck and I'm like wiggly woggling all over the shop, and so. But we're going to try and get her out and about. <sighs> spoily. It's a sleepy hello. I'm really sleepy. She's really sleepy. It's only like 9 o'clock in the evening or something. So we had another lazy day today. You had a lazy day. Well, I was up all night being sick, literally until four in the morning I was spewing. And tonight's just not nearly as bad, but it's not great. Definitely feeling it. I, on the other hand, went for breakfast and I got some pancakes. And then we had a formal dinner, but apparently Chinese people don't read the same memo as we do because literally all the like British, American, European The Westerners uh, were all like fancy dressed and then the Chinese people just turned up in their usual There was one girl in a kipao Everyone else was in like shorts and t-shirt no. we, we got some photos to show you Insert photos here yeah, it's pretty. And then we got chatting to this really lovely couple for yes. like half an hour. They were cool. Dave and Barbara. No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back in the hotel room and then tomorrow we get the heck off this boat because I'm not digging the boat at all. It's just the weather. It's a ship. Sorry. Just the the weather is making it really enjoyable. Unenjoyable. That's really enjoyable. <laughs> I mean, we bit barely, barely missed a typhoon. Yeah. And even right now, it's like I can feel the boat going left, right, left, right, and I'm just like, oh. I wonder if it's visible on the camera. Like, I wonder if the camera can tell. So tomorrow we're heading to Japan. Osaka. Well, we're pretty much already in Japan. Osaka. Yes, we're in Japan. Because I, the one way to tell if you're in Japan or not is if you get a text message from your t telephone operator that says, Hello, you're in Japan. And I got one of those. So that means we're in Japan. Yeah. So we're docking off at Osaka tomorrow and we're going to see the castle and do a couple of other things. We're going to see the Shinto shrine. And I just can't wait to get off this boat. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Alright, I'm going to sleep now. Okay, go sleep. Ooh, where are you going, camera? No, over this way. No, oh, no, down here. Ooh. Okay, so apologies for, for not that much footage today. We'll definitely get more footage of the boat, the sheep, when she's feeling a bit better. But for right now, maybe I'll take you on a tour, and we can go and get we can go and get ice cream together. Would you like that? Would you? Would you like that, Osmo? Okay, that's a very lame head nod, but I, I think I understand you. Okay, we'll see you then. <laughs>